गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर प्लीज सर थैंक यू सर सो शुभम प्लीज टेल समथिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ सर माई नेम इज शुभम आई वॉज बॉर्न इन मधुबनी बिहार I have done my schooling from Vidya Vihar Residential School, Purnia. I graduated in 2021 uh, with an honors degree in computer science from Hansraj College, Delhi University. And sir, I want to become an IFS officer. IFS honor officer. Okay, yes. okay. First choice. Um, first choice. Then tell me one thing. Supposing you don't get IFS, then in the series of uh, choices, you have mentioned defense states. higher than the ips so, so you got something against the ips you don't want to go there what sir uh, i was not sure whether i would get ips or not because of my height sir you are i think you are perfectly fine sir i am below 165 cm mark but 164 cm to be precise okay so, so i am not sure whether i would be qualified or not sir okay that's the reason yes. okay okay so mm, uh, tell me since you are wanting to go into the ifs you must be knowing a lot about you must have read about what is happening all around india yes okay so um, uh, do you know anything about the string of pearls and who con- coined that theory sir i am not sure about the who coined the theory sir uh-huh. but it is an alleged move of china uh, to encircle india to various dual use or military ports such as gwadar port in Pakistan, Hamban Tota, Djibouti port, Chittagong port, and one port in Myanmar, sir. To do what? Sir, as I said, to encircle the India in case of any conflicts, to block the sea lanes of communication, and use it for the military purposes. But what does China say actually? Why does it want to do that? It's giving a justification for doing that. Sir. China's justification is that it is trying to protect its own tankers and own maritime trade, maritime fleet. Vessels, okay. Does has India um, done anything to counter it? So we do have an official string of flowers policy. String of flowers. Yes. Sir. Okay. So where we are trying to partner with other countries to establish Indian military bases or to have logistic arrangements. For example, Chabar port. We have one arrangement at port of Dukme in Oman. We have uh, a Jam- a Jamsan Island as well as Agalega Island. So we are doing something unofficially, sir. Okay, okay. So uh, supposing you get into the IFS and you are made the ambassador of India in Pakistan, what will you do to improve relations? Okay, and is it possible to improve relations? So considering the. advances made statements made by the current pakistan prime minister i do see a future where lot of com- conflicts if not completely removed it goes into uh, unless it becomes less important sir so i as an pa- indian ambassador to pakistan would try to improve people to people relationship as well cultural relationship so that uh, there are more convergence rather than divergence but at the same time sir, i would try to improve the security situation because that is that most importance to india sir so what were the restrictions put by the pakistani prime minister uh, reservations expressed by him when he said ki we want to be friends with india sir there were two reservations first was the article 370 removal, removal from jammu and kashmir and sir second was the treatment of minorities in india okay has uh, pakistan have pakistan's allies recently said something about to to have told something to pakistan about maintaining relationships with india about improving relationship with india so an official yes sir uh, allies like uae and saudi arabia have told pakistan to mend its relationship with india sir and, and they can play a third party role they can play a third party role okay what about sri lanka how are, how is our relationship with sri lanka and do we need to improve it what are we doing to improve it So we do have a cordial strategic relationship with uh, Sri Lanka based on uh, both our geostrategic perspective as well as cultural people to people perspective. We are trying to improve the relationship with Sri Lanka considering the China's role in Sri Lanka. We have helped them in the economic crisis by providing around four billion in grants as well as line of credits. We we have banked the debt structuring program at the IMF. Mm-hmm. 
So yes, sir. And we are also trying to promote investment in Sri Lanka. For example, uh, green energy project in Jaffna by Adani, sir. Adani. Yes, sir. Adani is a very dangerous name to take. <laughs> what do you know about uh, Adani? The thing which is going on about Adani. Sir, a pseudonymous, pseudonymous short seller called Hindenburg report. It has published a report which has which has raised some allegations allegations against the Adani Group. Which are mainly two. Uh, first, was the use of shell company to raise the valuation of a Dani company, and second has been the siphoning of funds from the same sir. What is a short seller? Sir, short seller is someone who who sell the short, but it does not have sell the shares, but it does not have the shares. So it is trying to decrease the price of share so that it can in future it can purchase the same share and make profit, sir. Okay, okay, good, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. You have an interest in reading books and articles on geopolitics. Yes, sir. Tell me what is exactly geopolitics means. Sir, geopolitics means the role of geography in international political affairs. But nowadays it is it is like related to every international developments. Can you give one or two examples pertaining to India geopolitics? Sir, the role of Afghanistan in the relationship between India and Central Asia, as well as the West, because of its geography in the uh, in the Central Asia, sir. So, second, as well in the India's presence of neighbors, they are permanent, so they are linked by the geography to India, sir. Okay. Uh, do you uh, have you heard a name called economic diplomacy? Yes, sir. What is it? Sir, economic diplomacy is. Uh, is Trying to influence other nations and uh, to protect our interests through economic tools such as line of credit, debt, or free trade agreements. Okay. Now even foreign service officers are being posted in commerce ministry, finance ministry. Yeah. The importance of uh, economic diplomacy has gone up recently. So yes, sir. Uh, economic. Economic diplomacy has risen because of the geoeconomics tools, sir. So geoeconomics helps in more efficient, efficient targeting of the country. For example, what USA is doing with China through uh, <coughs> bans on export of semiconductors and related technology, sir. So yes, sir, geoeconomics is becoming more important, sir. Okay, in certain countries, uh, uh, our uh, representative is called ambassador. But in some other countries, it's called high commissioner. What is the difference? So difference lies in the position of country in the Commonwealth, sir. So those countries which are member of the Commonwealth, there is embassy, uh, uh, and in, so there is high commissioner. And those countries which are not part of the Commonwealth, they are also. You have an interest about uh, studying tactics in cricket. Yes, sir. Can you explain what is a reverse swing, sir? Reverse swing is opposite to normal swing, where the ball moves uh, away from the sign of the ball. So, if the seam is, is seam is uh, positioned towards the slip, it will move into the batsman, sir. It is mostly done with the rough, 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 rough old ball, sir. Okay. So, for that, what the bowlers do? The so bowlers uh, they sign one sign side, side of the side ball of the... and scruff the other side. Yes. Sir. So, has there been any? Uh, Rules, new rules to uh, as a sort of regulate this. Sir, the use of saliva has been banned, sir. Okay. What else? Sir, this is the only rule that I can remember right now. All right. Um, uh, using of uh, this third umpire, yeah. Through technical help, you think uh, that's good for cricket or bad? Sir, I think it's good for cricket because the aim of any umpire is to come at a, give the right decision, sir. And that these technologies help in uh, help in uh, coming to the right decision, sir. So I think that's the most important thing in any sport. So that, does that mean you distrust the field umpire? So field umpire also have some rules, but if they have some confusion, they go to the third umpire to use the technology, sir. 
but at the moment at that moment sir field umpires play a major role and in cricket also some agency is given to them to umpires also okay uh, you have also interest in quiz yes sir can you name a earlier quiz master now a honorable mp sir derek o'brien of tmc sir tmc okay all right so you are in hansraj college who was lala hansraj sir lala hansraj was a nationalist and educationist he was a member of arya samaj and was the principal of dev college dao for around 25 years sir. so on in his memory sir our college was named in 1948 any prominent personalities from your college sir the most famous is sarukh khan uh, we do have our honorable law minister kiran rijiju Uh, Delhi MP Navin Jindal, Gunjan Saxena who was one of the first women in uh, Indian Air Force. Navin Jindal. Yes. Is he from Hansraj? I don't know. <coughs> I think Sarukh, of course, was from Hansraj. Okay, you are from Madhuvani. Yes. Tell us something about the Madhuvani paintings. What color do they use? Sir, they use mostly primary colors based on. a uh, local ingredient red red black sir so these are chemical colors or vegetable colors so they are mostly vegetable colors sir but nowadays sometimes chemical colors have also started using in the madhubani paintings sir and what are the themes of madhubani paintings sir the themes generally revolve around hindu deities social functions such as marriages and flora and fauna Okay. Since you mentioned marriage, there is a provision of community marriage in Madhuvani through a sabha. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. Uh, in Sarath in Madhuvani, there is a groom mela, sir. Sarath sabha. Yes, sir. Sarath sabha. Yeah. So in those grooms, uh, there is a groom mela where brides from all over the. district as well as from other district come to that mela sir and try to purchase the groom you find it useful these days sir i think government has acted against the mela i, I think it is not held regularly nowadays okay <clears throat> what, what is khutona sir khutona is a block in madhubani district sir what does it mean khutona word ka kya matlab sir it, I don't know the meaning of the Kutona sir because I could not find anywhere on the internet or even what, my parents. What is the meaning of Bihar? Sir, Bihar comes from the word Bihar, Bihara, which were Buddhist Buddhist monasteries and stupas, sir. So going to the ancient past, Indian Empire was going up to which countries in the Indian Ocean, and during whose time? Sir, during the Chola time, we had our relations with Maldives, Sri Lanka, as well as Southeast Asia, sir. Which country is there? Sir, Indonesia, some parts of Myanmar, as well as Thailand, sir. Who was the king? Sir, Indian king was Raja Raja One in Rajendra One, sir. And there was a huge temple built somewhere. Sir, the world's largest temple. So it's in Cambodia called Angkor Wat Temple, sir. So, what is hyperinflation? Sir, hyperinflation uh, technically is thirty percent, thirty percent or more inflation, where inflation rises very fastly, sir. Thirty percent or more, sir. Thirty percent per year. Yes, sir. Yearly inflation is more than thirty percent. Then it's called hyperinflation. Yes. So, can you give examples of some? Nations where it has happened, sir. Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe is one. Venezuela is one, sir. Turkey is also facing hyperinflation, sir. What else? Which other country? Sir, so I can remember only three. So let's say you are in IFS, and uh, your staff in the, in that particular region it complains of hyperinflation. So how would you protect them from hyperinflation? Sir, one clarification, sir. Indian staff or the that particular country staff? The staff of the embassy. It can be from that country. It can be India. Sir, as an IFS officer, my role would be very limited to particular domestic economic policy, sir. 
But no, the question is of paying them. You see, how would you protect those people against hyperinflation? So, uh, the salary of salary of those officers which come from the government of India, they would be paid in the sir, most dominant currency, such as dollars, sir, which are hard currency. Yeah. But so, what what have those countries done to save themselves? Say, what has Zimbabwe done for? Uh, this hyperinflation. What did they do? Sir, the monetary policy was tighter. Uh, the printing of currency, which led to the hyperinflation, was stopped or decreased. Sir, they also tried to have separate currency such as dollars, sir, but it did not work out. Sir. Yeah, they they tried to get dollars as the official currency for quite some time. It worked for some time, but not for long. Good. So have you heard of the? There is a huge collection of. Uh, Plastic waste in the ocean. Yes, I have heard about Great pa Pacific Patch, sir. Yeah, Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Garbage Patch. How big it is? Sir, I am not aware of the exact figure, sir. Okay, it is huge. Yes. Or almost one one point six million square kilometers. Thank you, sir. Okay. So let's say you are in a task force, which says this patch should be removed. So how would be Go about removing it. Tell me three steps you would do to remove it. First of all, should it be removed or if it's floating in the ocean, what is our headache? Let it float. What is the problem? Sir, it should be removed, sir, because Why? it leads to the loss of marine biodiversity and also impacts human through biomagnification. How it leads to loss of marine biodiversity? Sir, it blocks the sunlight, which uh, so that the lower level marine organism okay. don't remove the sun. What else? So it can impact the humans uh, through biomagnification and bio accumulation of microplastics. Recently, we have found microplastics in blood, sir. Okay. So sir, how do you remove it? Sir, first uh, I will take the help of the countries at the periphery of the Pacific, sir, and get the technical help from them. Second, through that technical help, uh, sir, I will try to limit the boundary of the garbage patch so that it does not increase in future. So that first one of those uh, feature would be ready. But why, why is the patch accumulating at that one place? Sir, it's because of the ocean gyre, sir. So the ocean currents are positioned such a way, it leads yeah. to the garbage patch. Sir. Yes. So, so what will you do then? How will you... Use that and remove that patch. Sir, I would use technologies such as uh, both in situ technology as well as ex situ technology. So waste will be collected and can be processed somewhere else or through the in situ technologies such as uh, microbes, plastic eating microbes. We can reduce, try to reduce the whole length of the garbage patch. Sir. Yeah, or you can crush it and use it. Okay, good, good, very good. Yes. There is one country which is, you know, releasing nuclear waste, yeah? It has a plan to uh, dispose it of. Do you know which country and what is it about? Sir, ma'am, uh, ma <coughs> it was Japan, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, due to the Fukushima uh -huh. disaster, a lot of nuclear waste was stored, uh, mm -hmm. particularly nuclear water containing tritium, ma'am. So, mm -hmm. it, is, it is planning to release the same in the Pacific, ma'am. Are they, and over what period? So, Ma'am, it's around 140 years from what I've read. Okay, somebody, you know, I read somewhere it's 30 years, yeah. Over a period of 30 years, graded release. So, are there any concerns? Ma'am, there are some concerns because radioactivity is not reduced or mm -hmm. it can't be minimized by any process. Mm -hmm. So, there might be some impact on the marine biodiversity, particularly in the eastern Pacific, western Pacific, ma'am. Okay, and uh, could it like anything they say, anything happens in any part of the world, yeah, has impact in some other part also. What is it that phenomenon called? Globalization. Huh? No, 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 no. Um, I'm talking from this, uh, yeah, climatic point of view. We will talk about that later. Yeah, let's move on. Um, what do you understand by fiscal deficit? Ma'am, fiscal deficit is the difference between the revenue of the government and the total expenditure. So, how is it taken care of? Ma'am, it is taken care of by raising loans to securities. Mm -hmm. What else? 
it can also be financed through printing of money but in india it has been banned to an extent okay so what is the fiscal deficit of this country ma'am for the last it was last budget was 6.4% of the gdp of the gdp as yes, well mm, okay all right uh, so what are what are the revenues of government of india <coughs> ma'am revenues can be uh, revenue received as well as capital received in revenue received we have tax revenues such as direct tax mm-hmm. indirect tax mm-hmm. and non tax revenues for mm-hmm. as interest received on the loans mm-hmm. in the capital receipts we can have, have loans ma'am uh, recovery of loans as well as disinvestment proceeds mm-hmm. So have you heard of any company which is under consideration for disinvestment ma'am idbi bank has been under uh, under some some thought of disinvestment but lic disinvestment through share uh, ipo was held letting go of a little stake yeah yes. but here letting go of government's controlling stake ma'am idbi has been one there was one helicopter company i can't recall the name you know you talking of pavan pavan hands Uh, well, no, there is a more you know basic uh, uh, company. BPCL was also. No, चलो मैं बता दूँ. NMDC, okay? okay. National Mineral Development. I will read about that. Yeah, I'll just read up uh, because you seem to know so much. So just read on that, okay? And uh, okay, so um, so do you think you know beyond a point, uh, this investment will also stop fetching revenues, right? so uh, what step should the government take that uh, the revenue we don't have to uh, sell family silver so to say which is you know uh, psus what are your views ma'am first ha- first should be the monetization from the existing assets so we have national monetization policy we have mm-hmm. to implement that mm-hmm. second can be raising the revenue through taxation ma'am so tax rationalization so that we can achieve higher tax ratio which around 17% ma'am which needs to increase ma'am third can be liberalizing ma'am our economy so that the growth happens more reforms should be there so that growth happens in direct taxes mm-hmm. such as corporation tax increase ma'am so corporate corporation tax has stagnated to an extent already quite low actually um, have you heard of laffer curve yes ma'am go on is a relation between the tax collected and the rate of tax ma'am so there is a inverse relationship ma'am can you just what you know simple language may you tell what is laffer's curve ma'am laffer's curve in my knowledge is raising the tax rate would ultimately lead to reduction of the tax collected ma'am beyond a point beyond mm-hmm. a point yeah so you know what the curve looks like Yes, I invited you. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Mr. <coughs> Shubham, yeah. See, in twelfth, I have seen your subject. You are having uh, English, math, physics, chemistry, informatics practices, and Hindustani music vocal. Yes, sir. Which type of music you? Have? So it was But a. You sing also vocal. Is vocal, na? Huh? Yes, sir. Hindustani vocal music, sir. It was a six subject, sir. Ah, uh, do so you sing also? Unfortunately, no, sir. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. Okay. Why? What is the reason of choosing this subject? Sir, because my choices were restricted. It was between Hindustani vocal music and physical education, sir. Ah, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That is very honest. Now, see, you have done your B.Sc. Honors Computer Science, twenty twenty one. Yes. So thereafter, instead of pursuing masters and all, your focus is clear. You have started preparing for I.S. Yes, sir. Why I.S. What is the reason for becoming uh, to uh, aspiring to become a civil servant? Sir, since childhood, my dream was to earn respect from everyone, sir. So I thought becoming a civil servant would be an easier way to do that, sir. Sir, I think sir, it is also one of the topmost sort of sort after jobs, sir. I wanted to aim for the best. So, so considering that, I started preparing for civil service. Sir. but I, as i learned as i went to the preparation i learned more about myself i thought sir i was more interested in the foreign service and geopolitics sir. so i chose i chose ifs as my first preference uh, what is the qualities of a good is officer sir qualities of a good if is is officer in my opinion should be first compassion uh, 
So second should be dedication to public service, and third should be some knowledge. And how how do you define a good diplomat? So good diplomat first should be knowledge and curiosity because a diplomat has to know what's happening around him. Now as a second would be strategic thinking so that he know he or she knows what what are the options before him, how he can utilize the same. So th third can be adaptability because a uh, posting of IFS officer changes regularly, so he has to know uh, he has to adapt to the to the particular country, sir. See that recently, you know, this Russia-Ukraine conflict. Now, see, we have taken a certain stand, which is at odds with the very many friendly countries like Europe, entire Europe, USA, and so many other countries which were where they took a different stand, and we took a rather a diametrically opposite stand to theirs. Why did we do do that, and what did we? Our benefits for taking a stand, why do we have taken that stand? Sir, we have taken that stand in favor of our national interest. So the government thinks that its national interest lies in hedging against both the western led bloc as well as Russia. We want to preserve our relationship with Russia because of our military relations. We are dependent on Russia for the supply parts. But at the same time, we have, uh, we have tried, to, tried to balance both the relations through to calling for a UN charter that is protecting territory, territorial integrity and sovereignty of the country. Sir, it has, it has led to some blowbacks from the western countries, but I think sir, the narrative has been in India's favor and it can play a mediator role in future, sir. Hey, uh, going back to this thing, what is the root cause of this uh, conflict? What led to this conflict? Who was it to be blamed? Russia is to be blamed, Ukraine is to be blamed, or somebody, third party is to be blamed? And how they could not, uh, uh, could, could not avoid going to war? Sir, the blame lies on all the parties, Russia, Ukraine, as well as the NATO, sir. Because, uh, first, mostly on Russia, because uh, it can't violate, violate the territorial integrity of any country. Whatever the country is doing, for example, Russia, Ukraine was trying, to enter NATO as well as European Union, but at the same time, sir, it's an independent country, it can join whatever it wants, but at the same time, it should have taken in, into account the repercussions of its move, which was to which was to come, which was to have NATO in its own territory, so that the NATO would come in direct contact with the Russia. But at the same time, sir, the most important teaser in my view was the perception of ontological security in which that Russia thinks it has a sphere of influence and in that sphere of influence it, it should have a own control sir so I think somewhat Russia is to blame sir actually Ukraine wanted to join NATO, NATO. Force, NATO and Russia doesn't want NATO coming to its border yes sir so that is why they because NATO standing just at the border Russia feel, feels threatened they, they try to push them that you don't join NATO, which the Ukraine said they will join. Yes, sir. This is among the reasons. Okay, uh, you, have you heard about this um, BRICS and Quad? You can explain, tell me what are these two two groupings which India is part of? So, BRICS and Quad are mini lateral forums where BRICS is the group of five emerging countries such as China, Brazil, Russia, India, and South Africa. It The main aim of BRICS is economic diplomacy as well as reform multilateralism. Sir, Quad is a uh, Quad is a mini lateral forum of India, uh, USA, Japan, and Australia. Sir, the main purpose of Quad is to have rules-based order in the Indo-Pacific. It is it has been it has been established mainly to counter China unofficially, sir. So India has become part of the Quad to basically counter China's aggressive postures at the LAC, sir. We are partnered in China and BRICS, and we are against China in Quad. So it's the philosophy of multilateralism. We want to have say in all the institutions as well as protect our interests. Okay. See, you talked about this, uh, the Groom Mela. After you become um, IFS, so you will participate in the Groom Mela. <laughs> sir, <laughs> fortunate, uh, sir, no, sir, because. Uh, firstly, it has been disbanded. Sir. Uh, second, sir, through the education and the parenting I have received, sir, I think, uh, sir, I have more liberal views than that, sir. But see, uh, in Bihar, 
एमजी सिविल सर्वे आईएएस आईएफएस देयर द मार्केट वैल्यू इन द मैरिज मार्केट इज नो सीक्रेट ओपन सीक्रेट इट गोस अप दैट इज दैट इज इन योर बैक ऑफ माइंड और नॉट सर करेंटली नॉट सर करेंटली आई एम टू यंग टू थिंक इवन अबाउट मैरिज सर एक क्वेश्चन और पूछूंगा व्हाट इज चैट जीपीटी सिंस यू आर अ कंप्यूटर ग्रेजुएट सर चैट जीपीटी इज अ चैट बॉट पर इट इज अ चैट बॉट ऑफ ओपन एआई it is based on neural networks and generative ai so it it, it tries to answer in answer like a human based on what has what the data it has been fed sir oh so it's not a human not uh, the same level as a human no sir currently no currently no what a singularity in terms of uh, artificial intelligence taking over what do you understand by singularity So I'm not sure about the term singularity. You heard about singularity in black holes, yes, sir. but not as applicable to uh, this thing. Yes, my concepts are not clear with. Okay, that. okay, fantastic. Koi aisi chiz hai jo aapko nahi aati? A lot, sir. Feedback. Feedback time is there. So your interview is over. How do you assess yourself? So I really enjoyed the conversation, sir. Uh-huh. I thought uh, that the objective which I I had in mind, sir, I think it was fulfilled, sir. It was fulfilled. So <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. I think you are one of the best I've seen in my actual interviews in the UPSC and also in the mock interviews. So uh, congratulations. I think if you have scored well in your <laughs> if you have scored well in your written exam, you are through yes. as far as I am concerned. Thank you, sir. I don't think you need any more advice. I don't think you need to ensure it is there. You need to compensate to compensate for the loss. You are the most important graduate. Yes. Two hours the process. Come on, he is such a little answer very well. Can't you focus still? Very good. Good preparation. And being very young, I'm young. We are glad to be going on well. Thank you, sir. Yes. Free thing. You know, we deliberately tried to also ask you a little more, little more. Uh, but you know, you you are an amazing, amazing uh, person. I really hope if you don't get to, I lose my faith in UPSC. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you really deserve it. You really deserve it. So, just I had one question, sir. So I was told that I speak fast and long. No, no, no. You speak perfect in the perfect way. Communication is proper. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
बजट पढ़ के इकोनॉमी सर्वे भी है और बजट वो देख लो ना सिक्स में जरूर पूछेंगे अखबार में पढ़ेंगे आप ना इनकी यहाँ लगाओगे एक टाई की नोट थोड़ी छोटी कर लो ओके नहीं नहीं कोर्स तो ठीक है और टाई छोटी कर लो कभी सुनो कभी सबमिट कर लो मुस्कुराती ही बढ़िया सी फोटो सच्ची फोटो ऐसी फोटो बन जाए आई डिड नॉट हैव एनी फॉर्मल्स और फोटो साइड यू गिव मी ओना ठीक है चलो ऑल द बेस्ट